we have covered stable diffusion 3 a lot on this channel stable diffusion 3 is one of the latest image generation model from stability ai and st3 or stable diffusion 3 as it is called constitute a suite of models of small sizes from 800 billion parameters to 8 billion parameters this offers a wide range of scalability and quality to meet the creative needs of the users in this model there is a huge preference to safety too in this video i am going to show you how you can fine tune with the help of few of the notebooks shared by diffuser this table diffusion 3 on your own custom data very easily and by using even commodity hardware i will be using a larger gpu but you can even run these commands on commodity gpu like t4 on google colab that is going to take bit of a time but still it is doable one of the highlight of this new project is that it tells us that it is still possible to make sure that we can run these diffusion models like st3 in low rank adaptation on a free tier colab notebook so this is really good stuff it means that we can use these libraries like diffuser which is a go-to library for state-of-the-art pre-trained diffusion models for generating images audio and even 3d structures of mole uh, molecules so that is where i believe that this project is quite important because it enables us to use this dream booth lora for stable diffusion 3. before i show you as how to do that let me give a huge shout out to mass compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website and also i am going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus so please do check them out okay so that said and done we will be doing it in jupyter notebook and for that i will be launching it from my terminal and this is my ubuntu terminal where i am running ubuntu 22.04 and this is my NVIDIA GPU card courtesy mass compute RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. Let's create a Conda environment where we will be keeping everything nice and separate. I'm just creating a Conda environment with the name of ST with Python 3.11. So let's wait for it to get created and activated. Shouldn't take too long. It's very lightweight. There you go. It's already done. Let me clear the screen. And now let's quickly uh, install our Jupyter notebook here. Let's wait for it to finish and then I'm going to clear the screen. And that is also done. Let's clear up the screen now. And now let, let me launch my Python uh, Jupyter notebook by just typing Jupyter notebook and it is going to open it in the browser like this. And let's open it the new notebook here. And that is all done and we are ready to get it cracking and installing so first up i'm just going to install some of the prerequisites which are needed for this which include of course diffusers so let me run it here and maybe i'm also going to um, install torch but i'll do it later maybe i'll just include it here Torch. so let me run it it is going to take a bit of a time. There are a lot of stuff to be installed. So let's wait for it to finish. All the prerequisites are done. And now let's log into Hugging Face because Stable Diffusion 3 is um, a gated model. So you would need to log into Hugging Face. For that, you would need to go to huggingface.co. And in order to log in there with the notebook, we just need to install this library. So let me quickly do that. Let's wait for it to install. It's all done. Let's give the token here and then click on login. And then it says login is successful, which is good. And we are logged in. And now let's get clone the repo from diffusers. And again, a huge thanks to Sayak Paul for creating this. Let me run it. It is going to clone the repo and then it will get into it. So let's wait for it. And that is done. Let's download the data set here on which we will be fine tuning this. You can use any data set of your choice, by the way, if you feel like it. So let me download it. It's a very small one, so it shouldn't take too long. It's already done, by the way. 
After removing the temporary folder, let's also compute the embeddings. Embeddings are simply the numerical representation of the data. This which says module not found, so we just need to get it installed, which is fine. We can simply do pip install pandas and then run it again. It is going to first install it and then it is going to run the compute embedding. So let's wait for it to finish. So you see it is now downloading the model as you can see here and then it is going to compute the embedding depending on, upon your download speed it is going to take a bit of a time so embeddings have been calculated as you if you scroll down here it is going to show you that it has downloaded the model then tensor and all this stuff and it has also given us the error here so it says that we need to install the sentence piece so either you can just proceed further or but i would suggest that you install the sentence piece here because otherwise you will get the error later on so for that all you need to do is to just simply go here and then sentence piece and then run it again now this time it will be very quick and this time it has successfully computed the embeddings and saved it into this parquet file let's also now just flush out any CUDA memory so that we will have a clean slate that is done now let's start the training here now let me paste the command here so this is the command which we are going to use we are using the accelerate one and then let me run it because it is going to take a bit of a time here uh, if you are using um, the t4 gpu from google colab this is going to take more than an hour but i'm using a bigger gpu so it should be quicker for me now if you look here so all we are doing it we are using the accelerate we are giving it the, our parquet file path our model name output directory then some of the image resolution uh, which is to train on which is 1024 by 24 train train batch size which is batch size one image at a time we are just saying that just do it one image at a time and then we are using uh, we are accumulating gradients for four steps before updating model weights and then we are using 8-bit adam optimizer for faster training initial learning rate is there and then we are using band db for instrumentation and reporting for um, we are using constant learning rate scheduler and then we are also setting lr warm-up which means that no warm-up steps and then there are few other usual suspects in these training scripts and for me the training has started it is just using uh, downloading first the models and then it is going to fine tune it on my data which we have downloaded so let's wait for it to progress and then we will keep checking it fine tuning has started and you can see that right now on my 48 gb of vram it is showing me the eta of around 16 to 15 minutes and it can go up and down depending on how your system is performing so let's wait for it to proceed further Fine tuning is almost done as you can see that almost 16 minutes have elapsed so this is how long it takes on 48 GB of VRAM I'm more than sure it, it is going to take you more than one hour if you are using it um, on Google G4 GPU so that is all done it is now just loading that LoRa adapter and I believe that is also done if I just go up and check it out yep that is all done let's flush the gpu to make some space and now you can do the inference by simply using this diffuse its pipeline where we are just passing it on the original model then the uh, lora adapter which we have just fine-tuned and then you can just give it something like a photo of sks talk in a bucket something anything uh, and just let's run it it is loading the pipeline there are a few components loading the checkpoint and then it is going to save it and of course if you are using it on t4 gpu it is again going to be a bit slow but hopefully it will work out and i have saved the image in my home directory as you can see here so let's go to my home directory and see if we have the photo of dog and there you go 
How good is that? Really looks cool. And then you can uh, play around with it as you like. For instance, I have changed here from a photo of SKS dog to big dog in a bucket and I have generated the bucket underscore big dog dot png image. Let's see how it looks like. Here you go. So we have a big dog now. So this is a different dog than that and it is outside of the bucket but you see the legs are over there anyway so these are the diffusion models so of course they will improve if you increase your training data and all that stuff but all in all really good stuff especially the thing around that now we can fine-tune these diffusion models the image models the multimodal models on our custom data using commodity GPU Hopefully things will more improve and we will be able to speed this up that instead of taking hours and hours it will take like minutes or seconds. That's it guys. As I said I will drop the link to this collab in video description. Play around with it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.